Finally, let's solve equations with rational exponents. For example, here we have negative three plus quantity eight minus two x to the five over four equals 29. Well, we wanna get our stuff with the exponent alone. So I'm gonna move the negative three to the right hand side. So here we have eight minus two x to the five over four is equal to 32. Now, we want to get rid of this exponent of 5 over 4. In other words, we want to make it 1. But how can we make 5 over 4 1? Well, we can multiply it by its inverse, by its multiplicative inverse, which is the reciprocal. We can multiply it by 4 over 5. That would work. But how can we multiply this exponent by 4 over 5? Well, there is a property of exponents that allow us to do this. It says that you, if you raise this side to the 4 over 5 power, then we get to multiply these exponents. That's exactly what we want to do. But if we multiply, or if we raise the left-hand side to the 4 over 5 power, then that means that we also have to raise the right-hand side to the 4 over 5 power. Well, when you multiply these exponents, 5 over 4 times 4 over 5, you get 1. So that's just 8 minus 2x. That's awesome. However, on the right-hand side, it's a bit trickier. Now, how do you do rational exponents? This denominator right here is the root that you're going to take this number to. And the numerator is the power that you will then raise that number to. So, for example, here we have the fifth root of 32. This is the fifth root of 32 raised to the fourth power. That's what rational exponents mean. You can also raise it to the fourth power and then take the fifth root of that, but do you really want to raise 32 to the fourth power? Absolutely not. So, we have the fifth root of 32 raised to the fourth power. Well, the fifth root of 32, well, let's use this up here, the fifth root of 32, that's 2. And then 2 raised to the fourth power is 16. So on the right-hand side, we have 16. On the left-hand side, we still have 8 minus 2x. Now to solve this, subtract 8, we have negative 2x is equal to positive 8. Divide both sides by negative 2, and x is equal to negative 4. So here we can solve equations that have rational exponents.